Hi, I'm James, and I've had a few questions in the comments asking about overclocking with NVIDIA graphics solutions in laptops. So I'm taking a look on one of my Clevo systems here with a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 850M, and we are using a program called NVIDIA Inspector. And this gives us some options to look at things like we have sensor monitoring here, which allows us to see speeds that the GPU is running at. But what we're really interested in with this is if we click the show overclocking button and this will give you a warning saying this is experimental and I have to say with this as well, you know, neither the man, the people who make this tool nor myself are you know, liable if you cause any damage to your laptop or your desktop or anything else through using these tools. They're untested and exp all the rest. Um, so you have to use them carefully and be aware of sort of the limitations and the ability to cause harm to your laptop. Um, but we're going to click yes on this because we want to tweak these settings. And what you'll see is at the moment, our GPU is running at a very low speed because it's in the P8 state. So this is the lowest performance. Uh, basically, the screen is doing very little. Um, lowest performance state, saving power. So with these we can specify clock speeds. Um, we can see here the GPU temperature, the clock speed it's running at, and the voltage it's using. But what we want to look at is the P0 state. So this is the maximum 3D clock. And this laptop's a little funny in that the speeds it reports in this tool as being the maximum it's actually lower than the uh, firmware appears to be set to so as this goes into the application we can see it's going into its p0 state and uh, p5 now but p0 now that the test is running and the clock goes up to its theoretical maximum of 1084 and one gigahertz on the memory so we can see GPU usage is 99% and the clock speed has gone up. Now that could drop down a bit as temperatures rise or with other factors, but as we can see the voltage has gone up to support that and the temperature is also gradually rising. What we can do though, if we want to boost performance, if we first close the Unigine Heaven benchmark, we have these tools here which allow us to override or offset the base and memory clock speed. So this is the clock speed of the graphics core and this is the clock speed of the memory. We're not going to touch these targets down here and we're not going to increase the voltage as that can, particularly increasing the voltage, can have a very dramatic effect on power consumption. But with this we are going to bump up both the base clock and the memory clocks around 10% on the memory, a little bit less than that on the base clock, and we are going to apply those clocks and voltages. So what we'll see is when we hit apply, we get a corresponding increase here over default clock and GPU clock. We'll also see here the estimated maximum current clock has gone up as well there. So that is the maximum now if we run the test again. And once it starts, we should see the current clock go up 100 megahertz, which is what we've set as the offset, up to 1184. Now, I'd obviously say be very careful with voltages. I mean, the maximum increase we can put on here is sort of almost 0.4 volts. That's a big increase. And if you start doing things like that, you're going to drastically increase the power consumption and reduce battery life and potentially reduce the actual lifespan of the chip as you will damage it over time if you start giving it very high voltages, higher temperatures and all the rest. But here we can see that the clock speed now is running higher. I actually ran through this test on various different configurations. So um, as standard we saw a result of 113.4 frames per second with everything running at the stock speed for this laptop. Increasing the core 100 megahertz gave us a small increase of up to 116 frames per second. Uh, so around 
3 3.3 frames per second increase which in percentage terms is very small we're talking you know, 2% increase over stock 2 3% um by also applying a 100 megahertz increase to the memory clock here um we saw this go up to 123.4 frames per second so a 10 frame per second increase which because we we're already over 100 it works out about a 10 percent increase in memory clock speed and a eight or nine percent increase in base clock um yields around about a eight or nine percent increase in overall performance so the fact that increasing the core clock um did very little but increasing the memory clock gave us a reasonable increase suggests that this particular chip being one of the ddr3 based 850s as opposed to a gddr5 one which has a lot more memory bandwidth in this case we're memory bandwidth limited so we may want to play around with perhaps increasing that memory clock a little bit higher and seeing what effect that has um, the downside of that of course is you may start seeing graphical corruption so you have to view it as an iterative process make sure the system is stable and don't push things too hard and start causing damage but with that in mind i hope you found this video useful um, please check out other content on our channel uh, to see how various games run on this and other laptop graphics solutions and thank you very much for watching